Hey YouTube, how are you doing? My name is Red Eye, everyone's favorite goblin. Welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. Um, last episode we uh, did some stuff with Kara and some stuff with Connor, who's not dead anymore, but might be re-dead now. I don't know yet. Oh look, it's Connor. He's not dead. Or he might be re un re dead. I'm. Yeah. I assume I have to go talk to Hank. Find Lieutenant Anderson. I mean, he's right there. I found him. What the fuck? Sorry, Lieutenant. It took me a while to find you. Are you going to come back like this every time you get killed? My predecessor was unfortunate. Oh no, I killed another Cotter. Cyberlife transferred to Emma and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Wow, well, that's the exact same thing that happened last time. I just saw you get hit by a truck. Now you come back like nothing happened? A machine was destroyed. And another machine was sent to replace it. I don't understand what's bothering me. Okay, fuck you. I I actually can't find myself disagreeing with this sentiment. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. This is very not Connery. batteries or what I'm sorry I was making a report to cyberlife uh, well do you plan on staying in the elevator no I'm coming uh this guy okay not much so just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises I wonder if floor. um Every time Connor dies. The neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strain. Col Colum Boys, Olivia, need more okay. Cops. These are pigeon feathers. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Yeah, I wonder if every time Shit. Connor dies and comes Wish back, it's like... His programming degrades slightly, and that's why we're seeing him deviate from how Connery he was at the start. Anybody home? See, Anderson's Open noticing up. it too. Stay behind me. Got it. His, his mannerisms have changed. He seems a little bit more aggressive, direct, forward. I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly how to, how to classify, ooh, a magazine to read. Detroit today, red ice epidemic, ooh. The synthetic stimulant, informally known as red ice, has become the drug of choice for Detroit's growing underclass. Analysts have pointed to Detroit's status as the epicenter of android production, suggesting the drug flourishes and the dissatisfaction caused by androids taking human jobs. Sociologist Dr. Julian Carter, probably not how you actually pronounce that name, but I've decided they're now French, has drawn the same link with androids. As cyberlife androids spread across the country, they will bring a red ice with them. Poor men and women desperate to make ends meet are vulnerable to become users or even dealers. Not only is the popularity of this drug spreading rapidly, but its chemical composition is uniquely dangerous. Thurium, the main ingredient in android blue blood, is among the active agents in red ice and has a highly destabilizing effect on hormone production. 
The National Association for Narcotic Prevention, NANP, say that the problem is going to get worse. The purity of ingredients is very low and deteriorating. America's biggest narcotics industry is only likely to grow. Red Eye Sailors are reported to have an unofficial motto. Where the blood is blue, the ice is red, and the money is green. So, it's interesting that Ethereum is not... What am I trying to say here? It's interesting that Ethereum is not toxic to humans. I mean, okay, it sort of is, in that it has a, a destabilizing effect on hormone production, but it's not, like, immediately deadly, like you would expect, like, a synthetic fluid that... Maybe it's not synthetic, but, like... You, when, you, when you, like, think of androids and things that power androids, you think of, like, something that would be harmful to humans to just touch, let alone necessarily ingest and digest so it's interesting that ethereum which is as they say the the main ingredient in the 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 blue blood the fluid that um flows throughout the android is not like harshly toxic huh um it's also interesting to see this game address the whole automation problem which is kind of starting to rear its head, like IRL. Um, you know, what what do you do when machines start reducing human productions? Or human jobs, even. Um, and, like, how do you handle that when, you know, humans still need to make money to survive and, and, and be you know pr not productive but like in order to live a life there's a, a certain level of expenditure that is required and, and how do you do that how do you balance automation against not crippling humanity <laughs> i guess is the point i'm trying to make so yeah it's just an interesting point that it raises, it, that this brings it up earth's environment officially beyond repair past the tipping point. Environmentalists have long warned us about a tipping point, the moment at which global warming reaches a level that is irreversible. Scientists are now saying we've officially passed it. Global rainforests have been reduced by 79% since 2000 and coastal corals by 58%. Polar ice has melted to such an extent that rising sea levels have many states struggling to keep their water out of their coastal towns. With these cooling factors so diminished, there is now too much carbon in the atmosphere to the environment to ever, for the environment to ever absorb. Jason Rees, head of the Global Environmental Agency, said, This study confirms what many of us have suspected for a long time, but the real calamity is the linked decline of natural resources from energies to minerals, which are almost exhausted and can never be replaced. Many environmentalists have cri criticized Reese's comments as discouraging people from taking action, but Reese has defied the criticisms. It's important people accept the reality of the situation. The planet will only keep getting hotter now. The only question is how fast. I guess Android production being a, probably a highly mechanized function is also not helping the environment in this universe. What the fuck is this? Uh, they appear to be pigeons, sir. Uh, Jesus, this place stinks. Okay, so there's a thing on there. There's a thing there. Thing over there. Thing there. Hi, pigeon. Oh, there's there's loads of things. Uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Suspect cares for wild animals while wow, it's feeding the pigeons. Suspect doesn't eat. Maybe it eats pigeon. Who knows? Oh, 
Oh, this is this gonna be like a farm? Urban farm poster. Poster corner, 100% recycled paper recently moved. Is this a journal? There's that weird maze pattern symbol again. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. So we have what well, two things over here so uh, to investigate. So here and the corner. Military jacket. Initials RT. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. an ID card? Driver's license. Rupert Travis. The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. God, Jesus, I hate these things. Blue blood model WB two hundred. Deactivated eleven. Its LED okay. is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking visions. RA nine. There's that RA nine again. Any idea what it means? RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Why are they obsessed with this sign? Yeah, I agree. It's like mazes or something. It can't be a well i mean okay it can't be obsessive compulsive but it's also really common across like all deviants we can still recently disturb traces of avian fecal matter because like the majority of the deviants that we've found um that haven't like just broken the program like Kara or Marcus. They've all had this RE9 thing in common. Open marker pen. You still went use recently. Color midnight mood black. So the suspect was recently here. Writing on Guessing he heard us and then ran away So I wonder if he was like on the stool writing on the wall and then he ran when we knocked on the door. Skidmark recent. 
traces of galvanized steel. There's fingerprints. Fingerprints recent or finger marks. Okay, there's no actual fingerprints. Metal hook. Oh, so this must have been like hanging. Yeah, so he ran out, hit that. Must have heard us come in. Fell over that. trust me to chase after what happened the last time I chased someone I'm surprised this is going so well. That almost didn't go so well. Wait, where is he? Assuming he went out here. I was going to go the fast but risky route, but I missed the ramp. This is going so much better than the last time I chased somebody. Shit. This is really cool. This actually seems like a better option. Oh no! Let's save the human. Shit. We had it. Fuck. It's my fault. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Well, Hank likes us again. I mean, I guess like saving somebody's life kind of does that. Man, you're about to say thank you. You're about to thank me for saving your ass. Save Hank! A 
Now there's a lot of like branches here. Find diary. This has a cross chapter impact. Huh. Okay, onwards. Ah, Marcus with the Jericho. At the Jericho. In in the Jericho? Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. Oh. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. That's probably true, actually. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. Wow, 19? The rest of the damage escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. I understand how you feel. But we have more freedom here than you ever did. Humans were your masters, and now it's fear that rules you. I don't know. I, no I feel like... Than you ever were. Yeah, Marcus was like fairly free when he worked for Carl. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you Yes, can. we're safe here as long as none of the humans find us. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. Who's Lucy? Am I, am I just supposed to know who Lucy is? Yay, fire! Fire warm! Hello? Uh, you seem to be missing most of a head. Sit down. Lady, most of your head is missing. Are, are you aware of this? Ow, that looks painful. Wait, you're gonna cauterize it? Drink this. Is that Therium? Where, where do they get this from? Give me your hand. No, it's my hand. You can't have it. What's going on? You had it all, and you lost it all. Is she probing our memories? Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? 
your choices will shape our destiny. Well, that's ominous. But yeah, seriously, lady, like part of your head is missing. Okay, we have more barrels. I mean, I guess we could go light some more fires. To at least make the place homey. barrels there's a place over there there's a person to talk to there let's go talk to this person over here first hi not in very good shape am i my diagnostic program isn't working i don't think it would have anything good to say anyway what happened to you Tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No. Wow. I don't you got shut down. dragged along the back of a car? Huh. His his stomach light is bleeding really thing red. Uh, it feels like a bad thing. for the most part. Do you know what happens after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. Cool, let us know. What's your name? Marcus. Wait, really? She dies just like... Well, shit. That's sort of disturbing. Let's go light this fire. And then we can talk to you. Oh, it's North. Hi, North. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? Wow, she's resentful. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. Can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. That's true. Yeah, nobody wants to risk leaving Jericho. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. I mean, in fairness, we didn't really know what we were getting into when we came here. Well, that was a constructive conversation. Seems North is going through her teenage years. Cyber life crates. This 
Cyber Life Warehouse and Docks. Wait, so were these taken straight from the warehouse? Plaws a plan. Jeez, I swear I can speak, guys. I know, I know English. I know English good. Wait, is that a child android? They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. Did they make android They'll children? That's sick. Help them. We need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out. Doesn't seem that slow, if I'm being honest. Okay, is that is that all the, the blue blips around here? Okay, uh, yes, yes it is. Okay, let's go talk to Simon. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. The Cyber Life Warehouse is in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves can killed. I? Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Woo. Maybe it's worth a try. Everyone likes me. Okay. I'm in. Yay, everyone likes me. Jericho, neutral, north, neutral, Josh. Josh's opinion has gone down. Simon's opinion has gone down. Okay. We're probably going to have to put our cut in halfway through this episode, but it's okay. We'll be... We'll be okay. Okay, so Alice and Kara are both fine. You're going to be okay? We'll get some help here. Will we? We're going to get some help in this abandoned, rundown house. This is the place. Is this Kara's Jericho? Oh, is this not the place they talked about, like, way back? When we were looking for somewhere to sleep, there was mention of, um... A house that had androids in it. Maybe that's this place. Are you Zlatko? Zlatko! I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. Wait, someone actually Maybe. lives in this house? Come in. He's not an android. I don't think. Maybe he is. Come on in. Don't be shy. I mean, if you're not an android, then it would be... This place would kind of be shitty to live in. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? He's an android. Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Slacko doesn't have an LED, but we know that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Please. 
Make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. That's right, it's one of the androids. Got it. I remember now. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's not an android. She's human. Wait, his and fingers are you want to find a safe place. Discolored. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes, open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. No, of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I did wonder about I'll that. I'll move yours, and then you'll both be safe. This seems a little Come bit on. too good to be true. Follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. I'm of course. kind of suspicious. Right Everything we need is in the basement. Many book. Can't read any of the titles. Oh, history of painting. Well, there's, there's one. Fugue subjects? Wilhelm. See, the thing is, nobody would have that many copies of the same book. Wait, that book is the same as that book. And that book is the same as that book. Now I'm even more suspicious. Nobody has that many copies of the same book on their shelves. Let's go, I have a bad feeling. This place is really shitty. He's a bit odd, but I think we can trust him. Really? I don't. We don't have much of a choice anyway. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. This way, please. These are like cells. Why would you have cells in your basement? Wow. That's very technologically advanced. If you could just stand over there. Okay. I'm sure Iron Man has one of these things to help him put his suit on and take it off. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. Uh, you're right, this is unpleasant. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, oh, no. actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? 
You said that... Yeah, the people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! No, I don't want to be reset! Let me go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Uh, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's, that's so sweet. And so deluded. You're kind of an asshole. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. Well, I guess we're being reset. Or something. It's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way. No. This has nothing to do with me having a dream and everything to do with you being an utter asshole. Being raised and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. I almost envy you. Kara! I mean, I can turn you off and back on again if you want. Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. Memory corruption. You bit me. I'm going to teach you some manners, you little bitch. Kara, wake up, Kara! Um, I'd like to do the thing now. Meet me in the living room. Okay, Wesley. It reminds me of Wesley Snipes. Find a way to escape. Uh Oh. This'll do. Hey, if we just kick this into the computer. Uh, I mean, that would be great, but how do we... How do we do the thing? Pull the green cable. Ah! yellow cable go then yellow cable goes up there yeah I will, uh, around there down there into yeah it looks like the green cable might have been the right one well shit there's a really deep well there Is that a person or an android? Come on. I'm seeing symbols. Okay. He raised her 
For his amusement. This is disturbing. Who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. What the fuck? You must remember who you are. Otherwise I'm C three people, right? Oh, we're significantly over. Okay. Okay, putting a cut in here because otherwise this episode is probably going to be like an hour and a half long. And, you know, we can't have that. Um, thank you all very much for joining me. As always, my name is Red Eye, everyone's favorite goblin, and this has been Detroit Become Human. We'll be back here next week, same time, same place. Uh, until then, I hope you all have fantastic days, and I will see you then. Bye for now.